Howdy, so let's put the FM in my username to good use. Here's my review of Dan Bull's The Garden. A bit of background on the artist and the album first, you might recognise Dan uh, and his music from his comedy, gaming, uh, raps, or his internet protest songs such as the Dear Lily. This is his third straight uh, hip-hop rap album, uh, the other ones that he has released have sort of been gaming ones and I'm just sort of, to make it easier, these are the ones that he's done in the hip-hop rap genre that haven't focused on games and such. His other two albums, Safe and Face, were released in 2009 and 2011, respectively, if I've got my figures right, numbers right, because I can't check because my computer died and it's a terrible computer at the moment, such is life. And those albums were really, really top-notch albums, in my opinion, so I was really had high expectations for this album. But in this review, I will try and be as unbiased as possible, and we'll see how that goes. In a description of the album, it says the record is presented as a idealised barbecue in the middle of a lush British heatwave. I needed to read that because it, I wanted to get the full quote, and you know, from the very outset, from the start, first song, uh, Summer Rain, you can immediately tell that is what uh, Dan's going for, and it, it comes across really well. Along with Summer Rain, there's tracks like Top Down and Kelsey Bear, which really just evoke this nostalgic feel. Um, it's a very soulful hip-hop album, and it's just got this nostalgia of the summer um, summer barbecue. And from a personal note, they, they bring back lots of memories of the summer barbecues I used to enjoy back in the UK. And I would, you know, definitely listen to those uh, tracks in, when I'm back in the UK, because they are very much the type of... They're like a soundtrack to your barbecue, and it's really, you know, awesome. So on the execution of the concept of the album, I would say that it did a very good job and did what it set out to do very, very easily by the, you know, sound of it and the audibility. It's very much like, ah, oh, it, it's, it's not forced, it's very natural in what it's trying to do. One thing I look forward to in Dan's music is his lyricism. Uh, Proud from his album Safe is just one of my top favourite songs ever because of just how it flows, how it just sounds and just how it is. It, it, it's just got a certain quality that I really, really find appealing. And this album doesn't let down in that department either. Wisdom Teeth and uh, Roots, they are really strong in that they just tell a story without Again, it feeling forced. This is one of the things that I really like about this album. It's very natural and it's very, it flows. The, the flow of the songs, I, I love how it just feels like a summer barbecue. It, you know, the first tracks are sort of the beginning of it and then there's the sort of more partying atmosphere and then there was, there's a slight climax and then it sort of just fades down and it's really beautiful how it's um, structured, in my opinion. Now in writing this, because I actually did write um, a sort of review written down so it wasn't just me blabbering, um, I was listening to the album and at one point I went, oh, I wish there was, and I know he hears this a lot and it's it's not a bad thing that I was um, thinking when I thought it was, I would like to hear a more, um, a song with a bit more bite, if that makes any more any sense, a, something that was a bit rougher, um, which it, I, he gets this a lot, is um, a bit more like his first album, Safe. Um, it, it's nothing um, detriment that I'm saying is detrimental to the garden, but I was like, oh no, this would be great to have just something to break it up a little bit and make it a bit, you know, just to go, wow, that was like a track that was a bit, a bit different in that kind of way. And then, as soon as I thought that, Last Cigarette, his, um, one of his songs came out and it was, and it just had that bite. It didn't have too much that it was overbearing, but it was just enough that I went, wow, there we go. That was the kind of, so you know, he's got that sound down where, you know, yeah. This album definitely takes a different direction from his previous work in the fact that it's got featured artists, which I'm really, really enjoyed. Uh, the fact that they're in the middle, so it, they're there at the right time where you just sort of go, and there's something else to keep, the, um, the person listening to the album listening and they're great at standalone tracks on their own it's at the point where you know like I said it's sort of like a storyline the album is a storyline of a barbecue and it's at the middle at the crux where you know there would be more people it, if that makes any sense in my head it's sort of like you know that's when more people would be interacting with each other and I always love an album or a track um, I always love tracks where there is a there's more than one rapper and they just it, it's interesting to hear the different flows and how they take the music but put their own lyricism on it and you know it it's not contrasting it's very complimentary um, how Dan had 
and the two um, rap artists that he's got featured are really, really top-notch dudes. Uh, Bet Nun in Top Down and Joey Zeus in uh, Bum Your Shit. I really hope that uh, I got the last name right. I, I tried looking everywhere and I was like, how do you pronounce it? So hopefully I got that right, but uh, it's Joey G-Z-U-S if anyone wants to look it up. One thing that I'm, I want to stress is that I'm trying to be very unbiased in my opinion in this review, but the thing is, this album works really well on two levels. As the concept the, of The Garden, and also as a soul hip-hop album, it's very much, you know, it, it's strong on its own and as the concept, which is, you know, it, it, that's good. Sometimes albums that have a concept are sort of lost in the concept or they don't have enough of it, but I think that it, this one toes the line very, very beautifully. You know, the lyrics and flow and music are so on point um, that you can tell that a lot of work and effort and determination have been put in three w three years of work on this album to make it just this natural. It sounds strange that I said it was like three years worth of work to make it sound natural but it, it you know it just does and you know kudos to him for working on it for three years that's a long time for an album to be worked on and for it you know, this is a kind of standard that, you know, it's come out damn good. You know, you can sort of hear the emotion and the work put in, if that makes any sense. You can sort of, there's something that raises it above this sort of standard hip hop um, and rap music that we're subjected to in mainstream, you know, music, because a lot of it can be very bland and very, you know, two dimensional. Whereas this, you can hear and you can feel rather than, you know, less than on the lyrical basis, but just through the effort. That's one thing that I love about Dan's just performance is that there's very much a, you know, he puts 100 and I'm not gonna say it, that's an X Factor thing, I was gonna say 110%, but he puts 100% into every single, you know, song and every lyric and just, you know, it's very well thought out and obviously, you know, it it's come across really well in my opinion. So that's my review. Um, I would give it a 9 out of 10 only because that I would want another track like Last Cigarette, but that's just me being greedy and, you know, it could be that if there was another one put in that maybe they tried it. Um, it was just a bit overbearing. Like I said, Last Cigarette wasn't too overbearing a track, but it had enough bite that it sort of went, oh, that, you know, it had a sort of that kind of quality that I really, really enjoyed and, you know, really was looking forward to in the album and I was glad that it was there. If you're interested in listening to the album, uh, you can go to Dan's channel. Uh, he is currently releasing uh, the track Stay By Day um, on his channel. Or you can go to his Bandcamp, uh, which has, you can just stream the album and then you can um, buy it. Uh, or, yeah, buy it. Yes. <laughs> uh, and I'll put the link to the iTunes, but I think Bandcamp is better because then you're supporting the artist more than just you're supporting Apple. And we all know that Apple. <laughs> All his links to his channel and the album and everything will be in the description. I really highly recommend this album just because it's got, you know, a quality that I really like. And when I'm back in the UK and it's summer, this will be the first album that I will play. You know, I see the first hint of sun or summer rain. <sighs> what a lyric reference. That's not my thing. You know, as soon as I see the first hint of that kind of thing, I will be sticking that album on because it will, because it is just perfect for that kind of atmosphere and if you uh, enjoy this album make sure you go and check out his other stuff and his other albums because they are really top notch yes I tried to be unbiased in this I really really did but you know when you like an artist uh, you can't not be unbiased uh, if you've got any albums that uh, you'd like me to review or any artists that you'd like me to review let me know in the void because you know, I, I want to sort of keep this going because this was a fun experience to just go, okay, here's an album and then I review it. Because, you know, there's an FM in my name for a reason. You know, I enjoyed music and I enjoyed really good music. Send me some bad music. Ha <laughs> ha. So, yeah, go check out the album. It will be well worth your time.